So another day, nothing too exciting here. Basically, I just got to do some uh, work on the computer today uh, to line up some cargo stuff that I've got to do. So I've got to spend a little time doing that and a uh, pretty low-key way of uh, operating the day. So that's before I even get to any of the YouTube stuff. So uh, that's just taking care of the cargo side of my income. So that's what I'm doing. You don't gotta go to work, 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 but you gotta put in work, 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 work. You don't gotta go to work, 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 work. Let my body do the work, 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 work. I get people asking why I don't do cooking videos. Well, it's because I don't really cook very much. And they go, well, you seem to, some of the people in comments go, you seem to eat out a lot. Well, it's because in the Northwest when it rains all the time, what else are people gonna do? They go to movies, they eat, and they drink. That's why coffee is big here. That's why microbrews are big here, I suppose. So, um, I actually had dinner plans tonight with someone and they canceled at the last minute excuse me oh I just chugged a bunch of coffee so now I'm like <laughs> um, and they canceled at the last minute and since they watch my videos you know who you are that just canceled on me tonight so because <laughs> they get they see these videos ahead of everyone else they're like the patreon team they get to see the videos in advance oh that brings up another thing so I've got several people asking questions why do people get credits on the end of your videos that's because they contribute at a certain level on Patreon. So anyone that contributes on Patreon gets my videos in advance, they get them early. But if you contribute at a certain level that's higher than the entry level, it's not very much, but if you contribute a little more than that, then you actually get a credit on the end of the video, either an associate producer or an executive producer credit. And so that's because those people are contributing more to the channel. So that's what that's about. So um, my my very close friends and family and uh, a couple of the people that I date regularly uh, they get my videos early also they get them early just like the patreon uh, subscribers get them so anyway uh, and to answer the question of why I don't cook uh, very much it's simply because um, I don't have the patience for it I just don't you know, I like to eat, but I don't really like to cook because to me it takes too much time and it's too much effort. So you're going to see how simple my way of cooking is. Now I can actually cook better than this. I can sit and follow a recipe. I can spend an hour in the kitchen, uh, which I would rarely, rarely, rarely ever do when I was living in a sticks and bricks. But I don't have the patience for it. I just don't, I don't like it. It's to me, I know a lot of people get a reward out of cooking and they enjoy the process. I do not enjoy the process. To me, the whole point of cooking is to get to the end point, which is to eat. And same thing with uh, someone asked in the last video also, they said, uh, asked about my clothing. They're like, you always seem to be wearing the same clothes or, or very close to the same clothes. 
they said, so do you just have one or two or, you know, what is that about? So it's, it's the same thing. It's just, just like the cooking thing. It goes to minimalism. Uh, I have this, uh, well, I don't have it on. But anyway, those gray t-shirts I wear, I have like six or seven of them. So they look all the same, right? Just like this. They look all the same. So you think, oh, he's wearing the same thing all the time. But it's because I just have a bunch of them. Because to me, clothes are not fashion. I know. To a lot of people, they are. But to me, clothes are not fashion. They are merely a function. And that function is, is that you got to have something on when you go out into the world or you're going to cause a problem. So because I have to have something on, I put clothes on. I don't care that they're all the same. I don't care that they're all gray t-shirts. doesn't make any difference to me. So the cooking is the same thing. I don't really like to cook, so when I cook, it's to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. So, um, same thing tonight. That's, a, that's basically what's going to happen tonight also. So you'll see how simple my cooking is. So this is just a little... Uh, propane cooktop that's all it is oops I mean this is this is like roughing it right and hopefully you guys are in frame I didn't look but hopefully you're in frame that would suck to shoot this whole video and find out that none of it was in frame Magnum, lay down. Lay down, please. Can you still see me? I'm just going for my pan over here. Alright, are you prepared for the magic? Are you ready for this? Oh, I was wondering what that noise was. Stanley's over there adding to his new litter box that I just cleaned. That's what's going on. Not that you guys wanted to hear all that, but... Alright, so look. This is my idea of cooking. So these are... Where does it say it? These are fully cooked. So I'm not even cooking them. All I'm doing is heating them up in water. That's it, because they're already cooked. How hard can it get? I mean, that's 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 as simple as it can be. And put a little uh, glacier glacier water, which is from the glacier self fill machines. It's like uh, triple filtered. Put it on the stove. And light it up. There you go. Look at that magic. I just cooked. <laughs> so to speak. Oh, another little thing. So you remember the story about how Magnum ate a whole loaf of bread off my cargo net because I used to keep my dry food goods on the cargo net uh, on the wall? Um, so once he did that, then I abandoned that plan. And so what I'm using now, this is like a food blocker. So what this is, is this is a, uh, uh, don't be grossed out, dry cat litter was in here, dry only. So when I got, when this was emptied and I decided to uh, throw it away, I thought, hmm, this would serve nicely as a food blocker. So basically, all the dry food stuff that I don't want Magnum getting into, I put in here, this snaps shut, and it's now dog proof. I mean, or at least it's dog proof for him because he doesn't try getting into it. So I can put everything in here, you know, that I need to keep that's food stuff related, dry food related, and it holds quite a bit. So, because this is a 35 pound uh, container of cat litter, where it was, but now of course it just has dry goods in it. So, I mean, you can see, hopefully you can see, there's just a bunch of uh, peanut butter, applesauce, bread, stuff like that. Um, nothing too complicated, but it works. Otherwise, it would have just been thrown away. So, I like to uh, I like to use what I got, you know. And are you guys ready for the magic to continue? So, um, 
waiting for the magic to continue. This is just about done. The food is just about cooked. It's pretty simple. And then I get into, and look, look how cheap and minimalist I am. I don't even, um, I don't even buy hot dog buns. I just use bread. You know, this is how we did it growing up. Growing up, we never used hot dog buns. We, my parents hardly ever bought hot dog buns. The times they would buy actual hot dog buns was so rare. We always just wrapped it. I don't know, I'm sure you guys, it's probably sent a lot, a lot of you, it's the same thing, but we always just wrapped our, our hot dogs or bratwurst or whatever in bread. That's how we ate it. So old habits die hard, I guess, because I still do it that way. And um, I swear, every time I buy these containers, they're always sticky. I don't know what they do to these things, but they're always, always, always sticky on the outside before they're even opened. Anyway, a little uh, relish to go on there, and that's pretty much dinner. Oh, and these are just uh, little pepperoni sausages. And I always give one of these to Magnum, too. I mean, he loves them. Oh, if he can catch it, he didn't catch it, but he loves it just, a lot, just the same. All right, I'm checking the goods. They appear to be cooking just fine. So this is my idea of dinner when I have to make it myself. Or eggs, like I'll make eggs because it's quick and easy. Pretty simple stuff. And all this because I had a date cancel on me tonight. That's why I'm doing this because my date canceled, right? He should know better. No, I'm just kidding. We're good, we're good. He just had something come up with his family, so it's not a big deal. Um, but anyway, we'll reschedule for another time. So I'm sure this is going to cue the comments about bachelor life or eating like a bachelor or whatever, but it works for me, so I don't care. Oh, and then I'm having my coffee, and you go, good grief, what time is it? It's, uh, it's 6.45 in the evening, and I'm just drinking my coffee for the day. This is why I end up staying up so late, right? Not really. What do you know? Dinner is done. Look at that. See, that's my idea of dinner. Put a little relish on there. Uh, I could put ketchup on there, but I think I'm out of ketchup. But I don't really care. I mean, I'll often eat bratwurst, hot dogs, things like that. I'll often eat them on bread dry. I don't even care. So I don't even care if they have condiments. So, all right, that's it guys. That is my extravagant, extravagant dinner. All right, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the trivia winner. So Carolyn was the trivia winner on the, uh, on the religion and faith video that I started the music trivia this last week, I guess it was. And so she, um, I hadn't heard from her. And so I saw her comment on one of my later videos that came after that. And I said, hey, Carolyn, I haven't heard from you. Uh, you're the winner. So apparently she had missed the video. She, I guess, didn't see the video, so she didn't know she had won. But she sent me this email uh, because I said contact me by email so I can find out your mailing address details so I can send you the gift card. So she wrote me a, an email, and she says, Wow, in my 60 years, this is the second time that I've won something. Jay, would you do me a favor and give the gift card to somebody local that you feel would be deserving of receiving it? Perhaps a homeless person? or uh, somebody that you know who is on hard times. Although I would love to receive the... Oh, okay. Sorry, I had the line wrap here threw me off. Although I would love to receive the gift card from you, I feel that it should be given to somebody who has a greater need of it than I do, and I would love you to receive the pleasure that you will get when you see a person's face light up by giving them the gift card. I know that you're a sensitive gentleman and that you will give the gift to somebody who really needs it. I have already received my gift, which is the thrill that I got knowing that I was the winner, and that is sufficient for me. I'm still smiling at the thought of being a winner, so not only is this a win-win, this is a win-win-win. So thank you so much for even offering these gift cards to your loyal followers, and I'm not only thrilled knowing that I was the winner, but I'm excited and knowing that you also enjoy giving that card to a worthy individual. Um, I can see it now. Once again, it will be a cold and dreary day in Washington State all the time. And when you hand the Starbucks coffee gift card to somebody who is cold and shivering, I know that you will feel really good and being able to give them that gift card and I already feel good knowing that you will 
that you will be giving it. My love to you, Magnum and Stanley, and my thanks for more than just being the winner. Uh, signed, Carolyn. So, Carolyn, thank you very much. Um, I will make sure that that gift card uh, gets given to someone who is in need of it. And thank you for your generosity in, in paying it forward, in a sense, I suppose. So, uh, just wanted to give you guys that update, and uh, kudos to, to Carolyn for that. All right. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I will see you on the next one. All right, bye-bye. Uh, I don't know. I mean, just the usual, I suppose.